Welcome back. So Git checkout tags version 0 0.25. If you just came into this course right here. Now I want to try this uh, lesson to just show you a bit more about the observables because what if an error happens on the back end? What if I try to log in and I actually put in the right credentials but when I press sign in it'll give me an error back like uh, server is not available, you don't have internet, uh, you're uh, whatever, whatever. Then we need to also handle those errors. Now the way we can do that is actually on observables we can actually go in and we can add more to the subscribe than just the actual data. So before the code looks something like this where we said subscribe where you just put in the actual thing you want to subscribe we're waiting for a user, the logged in user and then we can use that user to actually explain if we are logged in or not. But we can actually add a comma here and then we can add more functions because it expects three different functions or you have the ability to put in three different functions. The first one here let me just put in um, a small comment here. This is the data. That's the first one that we put in there. And the second one, that's actually for error handling. So if there's an error, this guy will be called, the second function. And the third function, that's actually for explaining um, observable is done. Because observables can do multiple things before they're actually done. And this is actually the final call it'll do when it's done all the different steps the observable had to do. So we, we again, we only touched the surface of, of observables here, but this is kind of how you can use an observable. One, the data. Second, the error handling. And then third, what we're actually done completely with the observable. Now, what we can do here is we can go in and we can say, if there's an error, then set the trying to log into false and show the error if you want to. We can say if there's a user, like we did before, and then we can also say when we are done done, you can just set the trying to log into false. And now I removed it from the first data part because I know this will call be called in the end actually. So that was one thing I want you to know about observable. Another thing that you have to know about observables is that when we store information like this, when we subscribe to an observable like we're doing right here, and we save that information inside the request, we should go in and unsubscribe after we destroy the component. Just to make sure that we don't have memory leaks, meaning that we don't have code still running when this component is shut down. To do that, we can implement, we have the uninit already implemented, but we can add one called undestroy. This function will be called as soon as this component is removed from memory or destroyed from memory. Then undestroyed is called. What it means is that we need another function down here called ng undestroy. And in that function, I just say, if there is a request, make sure to unsubscribe from it so we don't have any risk of memory leak in this piece of code right here. So if you start having memory leak, start checking out if you're using observables, if you have some requests stored somewhere, and they might cause memory leaks, so they're still running behind the scenes even though you destroyed the component. That's it for this lesson. I don't want to dive more into that. So um, see you all in the next lesson where we'll have even more fun.